that awkward moment when an angel statue in your house has a better booty than you do. I got some booty comp in my household. Hey guys, it's Savannah Shelley. Um, today, I just wanted to talk about a freaky story. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I have days where just weird events, a series of weird events will occur to me in one day. And um, what better day to have a weird series of events than Friday the 13th, which was two days ago. And um, honestly, I forgot it was Friday the 13th. And then like at the end of the, my night, I was like, well, my night was really weird. Like me and my friends were like discussing. We're like, yeah, like all this weird stuff happened to us. I'm like, guys, it's Friday the 13th. We didn't die or anything, but um. Yeah, I was like, I gotta share this because it's weird. Basically, my night started off with um, me and my friend Brooke going to Buffalo Wild Wings. And we happened to go like two hours later than we wanted to go, but we still went to B-dubs. And um, so the waitress we had, she was some blonde chick, um, at first wasn't being weird like I didn't even think anything was weird about her but um so I ordered chips and salsa and um, mashed potatoes I didn't order mashed potatoes I don't think they have mashed potatoes I ordered chips and salsa and fries it's potatoes same thing so I ordered fries. But before this, we ordered our drinks, obviously, because that's how restaurants work. Um, and I ordered a water. <laughs> and she came back, and Brooke had got lemon in her water, and I was like, oh, I should have gotten a lemon. And the lady was like, oh, d do you want a lemon? I'll totally go get you a lemon. I was like, oh, no, it's okay. Like, I don't, it's fine. She's like, no, I'll get you a lemon. And so we were, like, laughing, so I didn't think anything was weird. She brought a lemon back to me. And she wouldn't even look at me when she gave me the lemon, walked away. And keep in mind, like, whenever this bitch came back to, like, give us food, give us our food, take our order, that kind of stuff, there was a good 15 minutes or 15, 20 minutes in between each time she came back. And I'm really, honestly, like, when I'm in a restaurant, I'm pretty patient. Like, I'm not too, I don't really care. So, um, yeah, we were just waiting, but I got to the point where I was like, okay, did she even know that we're here anymore because I've been waiting for a while. Then she came back and she's like, do you guys need a few minutes to order? Are you ready? And we're like, just a few minutes. Okay. Came back 10 minutes later. Just, do you guys need for a few minutes to order? Or are you ready? We're like, we're, re we're ready. Like we had 10 minutes to, or to look, but yeah, anyways. So we ordered our food. The food take took fucking forever. Like literally, I got chips and salsa and fries, and Brooke got just wings and like the carrots. Um, when this blonde ass bitch was like taking our order or something, this is what she would do, and this is why another reason we were like, she's fucking weird. I'm sure she's really sweet. I don't know if she was having a bad night, but she made my night weird, so I don't know. I'm gonna talk about it. But, like, she would, like, take our order and be smiling, and then right when she turned, because... Okay, so we were sitting in a booth, and here's Brooke, and here's me, and here's our waitress. And so when our waitress would take our order and, like, be, like, smiling, it was just this, like, face, fake smile, like, like this. Right when she turned to, like, walk away, it was, like... Okay, I'll get that right out to you. And I'm like, if you really hate your job that much, or if you just like have something against me, which we don't know each other, so. <laughs> but, but um, take it somewhere else because I'm trying to eat my dinner. And so, yeah. Um, when she would walk by our table, cause she was serving like other tables around us, she would totally like blow us off like not even act like we were there not even come check up on us until after we got our food so we got our food and she we would be eating and it was like a half an hour after we had gotten our food she came back and she's like how are you guys doing good and i was like yeah good and um 
kind of expecting like usually when customers are there for a good time you bring their check like if their food plates are empty like our plates were empty and I was expecting her to be like I'll get your check so we didn't ask her which we probably should have like that's our fault too but she came back probably about 15 minutes later and we still had empty plates and um, she's like you guys still doing okay we're like yeah can we get our check please like uh, and took forever for that and so literally we were there for so long that one of my friends came to meet up with us because we were supposed to meet, meet up with her after we ate but it was taking so long so she just came there and um our waitress just like I don't know if she's just I the way I um like I made an excuse for her and I was like you know she's probably trying to get her waitress duty is done blah 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 but this was at like eight o'clock at night and Buffalo Wild Wings doesn't close till like 12 so I was just like you know that's weird and even our friend Jaden when she came she was like your waitress is being weird like what the heck and so we finally got our checks I'm sorry you didn't get a good tip from me but yeah that was weird event number one because usually whenever I'm there I get super good service she was so nice at first but then it felt like and I don't know if like it felt like something weird happened and I was just like why is she avoiding us like why why is our waitress avoiding us it was weird shout out to my cute ass cup all right let me see what the next weird event is um another event that happened to me this same day um this was before we went to buffalo wild wings so i should have mentioned this first but anyways so the first event that really happened to me is um, I found my twin on Instagram and I should have gotten her name, but I didn't stupid me But this girl this guy came up to me. He's because I saw him um, It was Tuesday night. He came up to me. He's like I have found your twin We've never talked before he's like I need to show you this girl. She looks exactly like you So he we like waited for him to search it up, but he couldn't find it So two days later when we were at school, we had just gotten out and I was like hey like did you find the girl and he showed me and like literally it was weird she was wearing like the same makeup as me that I was wearing that day which was Friday um cause it was like I was wearing red lipstick and just like um uh like brown eyeshadow and stuff and that's what she was wearing it was freaking weird and she also I like to wear um like jerseys sometimes and that's what she was wearing I was like okay this is weird I, but she was like Instagram famous. I really need to get her name because I want to creep on her because that was freaking weird She had like the same haircut everything So that was weird because I've never found my twin before so I was kind of like what? So after we got done at Buffalo Wild Wings um, There's this gas station. That's kind of that we just always go to it's just like the go-to gas station and um, we are there like all the time like like I said it's a go-to gas station and not many weird things happen there but there are like weird workers <laughs> like I don't know they're just kind of odd we know all the workers there because we're always there it's a small town like yeah and um, so we're there and at this time it was probably about 9 o'clock 930 and um, I we pulled up and there was this is just this random guy he didn't have a uniform on or anything and he had this like machine and he was just cleaning the parking lot of the gas station like that's so weird like this parking lot I've never seen it before like he was just cleaning the parking lot and so we we're just like oh that's kind of weird like what is he doing but you know just totally ignored it because like weird shit happens but he wasn't one of the workers like I said like he doesn't work there and he looked like just a random like citizen I guess <laughs> and so whatever um so we were parked my friend we my friend was the one that ran in Brooke ran inside we my friend Jaden and I sat in the car and waited for her so we were sitting outside in the parking lot and we were faced like the gas station like we could see the front doors and everything and he brought his little machine and went come scurrying like scurring I don't know if that's a word but you guys know what I mean came just brushing up next to us looks in through our front windshield and winks at Jaden he's all like going around he's like 
just kidding, he didn't like do the open mouth, but he like winked at us and we're like, she's like, oh my god, like he just winked at me. We were like freaking out because he was creepy, like he wasn't like some normal looking guy, like he looked like a citizen, obviously, but he just was kind of like weird. And I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of weird, like, leave us alone, go clean your parking lot, like, you're not even supposed to be here probably, but just, like, do your thing, get away from us. And, um, so, yeah, that happened, and then, when Brooke came back out to the car, right when we were gonna tell her, like, dude, he just winked at us, she was like, that, that guy just, like, mumbled something to me. And I was like, what the fuck? And she's like, yeah, he didn't even, like, put his head up, like, he literally was, like, going by her like this and like mumbled something to her like what <gasps> what like we were like tripping on this for so long because we we're like what is he doing like just mumbling and winking at random teenage girls like he had to be probably like 40 mid 40s and so we were like okay like what the heck <laughs> like this is not normal okay <clears throat> so we left the gas station and we decided to go to this other, um, it's like, um, I don't really know what to call it. Um, it's kind of just like a, um, I want to say like a town square and it has like a little strip mall with like a family thrift, dollar store and, um, uh, Boyd's and like a gas station there too. And so we were just chilling out there because I think we were meeting up with someone. And it just got kind of weird, like, since this night was already just kind of, like, odd. To top it off, we were literally just chilling there, and we were probably there, like, we were there for about 15 minutes. And, um, <laughs> we look over, and there's just these two cars. There's these two cars, and here's, like, a gold car and a red car. Same exact style of car. And I know that doesn't really matter, but considering, like, what was going on, I was just like, what? that's weird like everything is so weird what is life like freaking out in between the two cars excuse me was um like four teenagers like just these four kids like hanging out like they're all like leaning on their car like there's two on this side leaning on this car and two on this side leaning on that car and just like leaning back like chilling and I was like okay like whatever but there's like no other cars there and so there's just these two random cars like I know like we do that sometimes, like we hang out in parking lots, but it was freaking cold outside, for one, and two, like, why? <laughs> and you guys have like the same style cars, like, what? And so we're like, oh, so this is like the teen hangout, like, we're teens too, but I mean like, it, we were just making fun of it, like, oh, like, oh, is this where kids hang out? And <laughs> so we just kind of like brushed it off, sat in our car, I was kind of like laying down the back seat because we'd been waiting there for quite a while. And, um, and I don't think they noticed either, but we were just hanging out, got up, and literally, I looked behind us, because I was in the backseat, I looked behind us, and there was just this swarm of freaking, like, teenagers, like, around our car. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, just a swarm, that's all I can, like, describe it as. It's like, first it started out as those four teenagers just hanging out in the back creepy corner, and then all of a sudden all these teenagers just, like, swarm our car, and we're like, okay, like, no, no thanks, there's, like, this parking lot is huge, like, go somewhere else. Like, usually if you and your friends are gonna, like, hang out in a parking lot, like, do it away from people when there's, like, a huge-ass parking lot. We, like, we were here first, like, can you not park by us? <laughs> What? Can you not watch me eat Triscuits, balsamic vinegar, and salt? <laughs> salt. I meant basil. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all that happened up to me on the Friday the 13th. I don't know. Like, it was just weird. I wanted to talk about it because I have just days, like, like I said, like where weird events will happen to me. And it's just a weird series event of events and what better day than the Friday the 13th So I had to share that story with you guys if you liked this video, please give me an erected thumb and Subscribe to me. I'm quite I'm not very new to YouTube, but I stopped posting for a long time because I Just was really tired of my camera quality 
But you know what? I think that I'm just going to start filming with this camera and save up for a new one. So if this quality bugs you, I apologize. But, you know, your girl is just poor as fuck and she needs help in this little world. So, um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And also, if you guys want to see more videos like this, like little story time videos, comment down below and I'll probably be my bring some makeup tutorials back too so yeah um comment for those or just give me a little likey like all right see you guys